Okay, guys, so more flex versus smart tempo. Um, I did that video about, I don't know, five or six days ago on um, smart tempo versus flex or flex versus smart tempo. I did that uh, video specifically for Nunix, who was having trouble setting the tempo with the smart tempo and the flex, you know, working with the two to fix the tempo of a bunch of disco tracks um, that he then, an old jazz punk disco tracks that he wants to then import into his Serato to do DJ sets and be able to sync them and all the rest of it. He's still having trouble with one track, which he's sent over. So let's have a look at it. Um, I've got an audio track here, um, just a blank audio track set to no input. And before we begin, just check, look, the uh, project tempo is set to the default 120. Uh, the smart tempo is set to keep and the Smart Tempo project settings are set so that we are not setting imported audio files to be automatically flexed. That's off. That's important, right? All right, let's get the uh, track and bring it in. Here it is. It's an old jazz funk disco track. I'm going to drop it starting at bar three. Um, when I'm bringing in a track to analyze and fix the tempo and all the rest of it, I like to leave a gap at the start so I can move it forward if I, if I need to. Okay, there it is. Um, let's go along and have a look at it. Let's turn the metronome off. Okay, this is all percussion. Okay, so this is all percussion for the first 40 something bars. Then drums come in for about, I don't know, 16 or 8 bars there. And then it drops back to just percussion only. And then what, the drums come in again here. Okay, drums along there. And then what happens in this bit? Okay, there's another break down there. Another break down there. And then what? And then the drums come in again for the end. So half of this track has got just percussion with no drums at all. Okay, so uh, let's do it. Double click, uh, switch to smart tempo, analyze. Come on, baby. Okay, there we go. Now, um, we are analyzing at variable tempo, as I showed in the previous video, when you're analyzing old disco or jazz funk tracks um, that were not played to a drum loop or a drum machine, so they don't have a absolutely fixed tempo, you need to analyze them in variable. And that goes for any band recordings as well, where you're doing a, a multi-track set, etc. Okay, so it's already uh, analysed at variable tempo, but new, what Nunix is saying is is that the bright orange start of bar lines and the sub quarter beat lines, none of them line up. Let's have a listen. Yeah, and it do, it sounds like they don't. But here's the thing. Zoom in and have a look. <clears throat> look. Oops. Zoom in. Look at this. There is the start of a bar line. There's the next start of bar line, the really bright orange ones. And these are the quarter beats in between. And it's analysed this track at a tempo of around the early 100 beat per minute, which is what Nunik said. He said the track should be about 103 beats per minute. But if you look... In between the quarter beat lines, there are these vertical strong, in this case we're in a percussion section, percussion beats, which are right in the middle of quarter beats. There, 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 there there etc and they have no line on them because the problem is the tempo of this track is not in the early 100s it's in the early 200s this is being analyzed at half its actual tempo which is the and so logic's having a problem let's forward to where the drum machine comes in or the drum beat rather yeah, you know, none of the lines line up, neither the quarter beat. Okay, so watch this. 
we're going to get it to reanalyze at times two tempo, double tempo, boom. Oh, now all that happens is the lines double up. Now look, now look, let's go back to the start where it's just percussion. Now all the, we've doubled the tempo. So these bright orange bar lines are half the distance apart now and the quarter beats are uh, uh, half the distance apart. They've become effectively eighths instead of quarter beats. Now we're analyzing the track at double tempo of the early 200s. And now look, all these in-between beats have got lines on, right? Uh, boom, 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 etc. Now let's have a listen. See? Whoop, now the metronome's counting. Dip, 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 double time. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. But the bar lines are incorrect, the bright orange bar lines. So let's see where they should be. And then we can shift them all up or down, whichever, back or forward. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, right. That's actually the start of a bar. That's where the bright orange lines should be. They're behind by a quarter beat. They should be there. Look, have a listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So yeah, these bright orange bar lines are a quarter beat late. So we will go to this next quarter beat and set that as the downbeat and all the bright bar lines will move one quarter beat to the right further along. Boom, there you go. Now let's have a listen. One, two, three, four. 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 Let's forward to where the drums come in. Somewhere here, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, come on, where are those damn drums, man? Where are they? Where are they coming in? Oh, here, right. Is it there? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's zoom in. One two three four. 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 One two. There you go. Done. So actually, this track's at double. It it's at two hundred and something beats per minute, not a hundred and something beats per minute. Okay, now we've done that. Let's switch on uh, the flex for this track, for this file. On and align bars and beats. But before we do that, we need to. Dub. We need to set this project tempo to to the to the tempo that this track actually is, which is somewhere in like so let's say 210 beats per minute. Boom. Now switch on flex and follow on and align bars and beats. Boom. And it's going to analyze using this as part of the analysis. So okay, look, switch on flex. We can see it's on for this track. Switch it off visually. It's still on for the track, but we just turned the flex display off right and zoom in and we if we grab the track we'll get the bright orange lines of the quarter beats ready zoom in a bit boom yes there they are but notice they're all one quarter beat late to line up with logic's bar lines look yeah they're regular they're they're regular with four quarter beats between them we know they're on the money from this analysis, but they're not lining up with the bar lines of Logic's bars. They are one quarter beat late, further to the right. So we set this into beat and snap regions to absolute value. Then we snap it back, the whole region back, one beat, and get those bright orange bar lines on the bars. Snap. There you go. Exactly on the money. Have a listen. Turn the track down a bit. One two three four. 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 Let's go further up where the drums come in. On the money, on the bar lines. One. One two three four. 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 Done. 
Now, let's have a look at the start. Just zoom in. First, this is a bit of silence at the front we need to get rid of. And if we click and hold the file, we can see the orange bar line at the very, very first transient is late. It's behind that first beat. So that very, very first percussion beat is slightly forward of bar three. So we need to go in and manually edit that orange bar line, So, which is here at the start. Let's do that. There it is. Look, it's, it's not on the money. So we'll just move this one marker, only this one. Just bring it in front of that beat. So it's right on that beat. And above, where you see the region on the track, you'll see that beat push back to be on bar three exactly. Boom, there you go, that's it. Then, look, click and hold, the orange line is right on bar three with that beat exactly on bar three, that very first opening percussion hit. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is trim off the start, trim off that empty silence. Now we know that orange line with that first percussion beat is right on bar three. So with the snap still in beat and still snap regions to absolute value, we trim back this exactly to that bar line. There you go. That's done. Now, we can now set this to be any speed we want. We can make it much slower. Or make it way faster. And so you now choose what speed you want it to be as a fixed tempo. Maybe you want it to be 210. Or maybe that's too fast and you want it to be like 240 six or something or maybe a little bit quicker at two I don't know two sixteen whatever set the tempo that you want I'm gonna leave it at two ten and then um, go back to the start again zoom in okay our very very first percussion it is right on bar three our snap is still set to beat an absolute value so now before we export at whatever we decide the fixed tempo is, we just snap this forward exactly to bar one, and that's it, all done. And now, if you set you set the tempo to whatever you want this track to be fixed to, two ten, two six, two sixteen, whatever, bounce off a copy, and the bounced off copy will be exactly with a fixed tempo of whatever you set here before you do the bounce all the way through. But the problem is, is this track is actually at double the tempo. That was the problem with it, right? And if we go and let's just check further right down to make sure everything's all right down here. Look. Look at the orange line, still exactly on the bars. Let's have a listen. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two. Yep, all on the money. So now it's ready to export. All you do is set the tempo that you want this, this track to be fixed exactly to as a solid fixed tempo before you do the export, bounce it out, and that's done. You've got a fixed tempo track. But that was the problem. That remember, you've as well as having variable and constant tempo to analyze, you can also analyze at double or half speed. Sometimes tracks need to be analyzed at double tempo and very, very less occasionally, they need to be analysed at half tempo. Okay. All right, there you go. That's the fix, man. Hope that's useful.